to move it fully, but it's going to be sore end range, sort of extension, end range abduction, abduction, whatever that one is. I always get them mixed up. Doesn't you know? It's extension and abduction, all right. And they don't like coming over into the opposition. If you stress test the ligament, they'll have laxity going that way. Okay, they'll move a little bit compared to sort of the normal side, and you, you check it out. So more, everybody moves a little bit through there, but just see what it feels like. It should be rock solid, okay? This one's been injured. Really? Well, it looks like it. I, I can move that a lot more than I can move this one. Maybe that's just you. That's definitely a little bit lax. Okay, so, again, remember we're, we're going to be well below this crease. We're actually angling more for that second crease for your um, anchors. So make sure you get your tape folded over. Hold your hand like you're holding it wide for me, just really wide, spread it wide. So you want to make sure you're not going to pinch them into this position. I'll do this in two so you can see what it looks like to do it in two. Okay, so there's anchor one. There's anchor two. And you can certainly do that all in one piece if you want. I'm going to try and loosen that up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so there's your two anchors. Hold your hand like you're holding the cup now. So you cut it in like that. Start from one side. Make sure you come up, come all the way around. back down to the other side and just take it wherever it wants to go. Make sure it's nice and long. So pull the tape out long. It's much easier to do. So I'm going to come up a little higher. I'm going to go all the way around. And I'm going to bring it back. So there's my two going that way. Okay, color's still good. Now I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to come around. I'm going to come through. Just let the tape kind of follow along its merry little way, okay? If you notice that, I started that low, but it ended up coming around high. That's fine. And just take those pieces where they want to anchor onto. And what that does is it gives you that little bit of support, so you see now I can't move it quite as far, okay? Colors still good. Then I need to do my hoodies. And how I put the hoods on is I come in like this. There's one. The corner under. There's two. And the last one's going to be a little short one. Bring it around and bring that across, bring that edge across, and just smooth it in. So it locks it all up. Okay. And then we need two. Make sure we get all those pieces covered. And there's no extra pieces of tape sticking out there, so I don't have to worry about putting the last anchor on. Okay, That's the anchors that's sticking out there, but if you wanted to, you could always fold that under, but that's mostly the anchors that's, that are sticking out there, so that's not a big deal. Okay, I'm just below the knuckle. I can adjust that a little bit and move it down so that it's not interfering with the knuckle. So you can come around and just even take that and just kind of fold her in a little bit. And it feels a little bit better now because you've got a little bit more room through there. Okay. Put your hands together. Pull your thumbs up. Okay. So it's stopping. If I press over, it's not quite going this far. Okay. Out this way like you're doing left and right. Okay. So it comes down. Not quite coming as far. Okay. Try and come across. Okay. Hard to do. But she can grab. She can catch. She can hang on. Wrist fully functional. Okay, so that's what that one looks like. 
When you take this off, guys, make sure you take it off the way it went on because if you have to pull those hoodies off, if the person that really had a sore thumb, they really wouldn't like you very much at that point. Okay? Your elbow, they're sitting like this. Pick them up. Okay? Two anchors. Flex the arm. Two anchors. Rest the hand there. Fan. Anchor, 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 anchor. That's a fairly straightforward.